What's really going on with J.P. Morgan? Why do they want more and more and more things? More and more power to get more and more things? I think it's because they really want more, more time. They want to live longer. And since they can't, in their minds, they don't believe they can live longer. Instead of going after more time, they go after more things. They suppress, they repress, they deny their feelings that they want more time. I want more time. I want to live to be as long, as old as I can. And I believe that, that uh, most people feel this way too. I think as a species, we're nearing a crisis. I think as a species, we're all very neurotic because we're not getting what we really want. We're sentient, we're aware of our existence, and we don't want it to end. But because we think it's going to be to end, instead we go after things, more and more and more things. And that gets us nowhere. That's destroying the world. And that's why we've got to crash J.P. Morgan. But after we crash J.P. Morgan, we've got to talk about getting more time. We've got to talk about moving beyond the information age to the genetic age where we figure out why it is certain trees live to be a thousand years and we live to be a hundred years. And what we can do about it. We've got to map our genes. We've got to map the genes of those trees. We've got to figure out what it's going to take for us to be able to live a thousand years. And then we've got to use some kind of benign virus to zap our genes so that we can do that. But we have so many problems, there are so many people. We've got to control population. We've got to decide what's important. And instead of going after more and more things and letting more and more people be born to make it easier for some to get more and more things by depressing the labor market, we've got to work as a planet to control population, figure out how to live longer, and do it.